One Pair of Hands, by Monica Dickens is a delightful autobiographical account that offers a unique glimpse into the life of a young woman from a privileged background who takes on the role of a domestic servant. This choice was unconventional for someone of her social standing, and it highlights the class distinctions prevalent in British society during the 1930s. The narrative is both humorous and insightful, providing a vivid portrayal of the author's experiences and the people she encounters. The book begins with Monica Dickens' decision to leave her comfortable life and seek employment as a cook general, a decision driven by a desire for adventure and independence. This decision marks the beginning of a journey that exposes her to the stark realities of working-class life. Her naivety and inexperience in domestic work provide ample material for humor, as she navigates the challenges of cooking, cleaning, and managing a household. The author's witty and self-deprecating tone makes the narrative engaging and relatable. Monica Dickens' interactions with her employers and fellow servants are central to the narrative. Through these interactions, she explores the complexities of the employer-servant relationship and the often unspoken rules that govern it. Her employers are portrayed with a mix of satire and sympathy, revealing the eccentricities and peculiarities of the upper class. The contrast between the frivolous concerns of her employers and the practical challenges faced by the servants is a recurring theme, underscoring the social divide that separates them. The author's keen observational skills bring to life the various characters she encounters. From the demanding and often unreasonable employers to the seasoned and sometimes cynical fellow servants, each character is depicted with nuance and depth. These character sketches add richness to the narrative, providing a comprehensive view of the domestic service landscape. Monica Dickens' ability to find humor in the mundane and the absurdities of daily life adds a lightheartedness to the book, making it an enjoyable read. Beyond the humor, One Pair of Hands offers a poignant commentary on the rigid class structures of the time. Monica Dickens' position as an outsider within the world of domestic service allows her to critique the system with both empathy and irony. Her reflections on the often dehumanizing aspects of domestic work are thought-provoking, shedding light on the sacrifices and hardships endured by those in service. The author's background as a member of the privileged class adds a layer of complexity to her observations, as she grapples with her own perceptions and prejudices. The narrative is also a testament to Monica Dickens' resilience and adaptability. Despite the initial difficulties and numerous mishaps, she perseveres, learning to navigate the intricacies of her role and earning the respect of her peers. Her journey from a clueless novice to a competent and confident servant is both entertaining and inspiring. It reflects a broader theme of self-discovery and personal growth, as the author learns valuable lessons about herself and the world around her. One Pair of Hands is more than just a humorous account of domestic service, it is a social commentary wrapped in an engaging narrative. Monica Dickens' wit and charm make the book a compelling read, while her insights into the lives of those in service provide a valuable historical perspective. The book remains relevant today, offering a window into a bygone era and prompting readers to reflect on issues of class and social mobility. In conclusion, one Pair of Hands, by Monica Dickens is a captivating and insightful work that combines humor with social critique. The author's unique perspective as a privileged young woman working in domestic service provides a fresh and engaging narrative, rich with vivid characters and keen observations. Through her experiences, Monica Dickens offers a thoughtful exploration of class dynamics, resilience, and personal growth, making the book a timeless piece of literature.